Okay, so this video is for how to... <laughs> Sorry about that, that's my kid. Hello! She's excited about the RC cars. Anyways, this is a video of how to put music on an iPod. Because apparently somewhere within the last 10 years and touchscreen phones, smartphones, uh, people kind of uh, lost the knowledge of how to actually download physical music. All right, so first things first, you need an iPod. You need an iPod cable. That's the 30 pin. We're gonna dock it, and I'm sorry, this is from my phone and I don't have fancy equipment. All right, so she's connected. And now you can see she popped up like a USB drive. It says Camilla's iPod. That's my wife. This is her indoor iPod. And we she has a black iPod for the for her car. And I have one for mine. Well, I have a bunch of other iPods. There's some in the box right there. And there's a whole lot of guys up on the shelf. And well, anyways, this is about uh, music. So anyway iTunes started itself. It doesn't always start itself, but I chose in here to open iTunes when this iPod is connected. So iTunes is opening. I don't know. So, um, yeah. And if it doesn't open, but you do get that uh, pop-up window that was before, you know, this one, then that's great. This is because it's like a, a Windows 10. As far as I remember back in Windows XP, it didn't do that. We, we didn't get that. Um, but anyways, so this this is some of our music because this is my day-to-day uh, uh, -day work PC. I have a, a laptop right here. That one has got all our music. So that's like 12, 13,000 songs. I do not have that in here. I haven't downloaded everything. You can see this one isn't downloaded on this PC. These are like My Little Pony, Cochrane Company, Danny Goki, some great music. You can see here, these are in the cloud. So you're if you're an uh, iPhone user, then that's no problem. You, you stream everything. And here's where I was saying download physical music because if I, if you buy these albums, um, I know there's apparently there's something called iTunes Music these days, but but I'm an iPod user, so I don't have any idea what that is. I don't use an iPhone, I use an Android, and and I don't stream my music. I just I I I, I, uh, I see no so don't. I I down I buy my I purchase my music. I'm a I'm a dancer. I'm a choreographer. Just not not some not anything fancy. But uh, what that means for me as a dancer, as an instructor, is that I need the the MP3 files. And now I'm gonna show you these MP3 files, which apparently people forgot what that is. Because you can see this is like a that's a PDF file. You know that's what you call an Adobe file. Right here I have like. Uh, a JPEG file, right? Like this is a, a picture file, a JPEG file. What we need is MP3 or something. There's different, like there's JPEG and there's BMP, like a bitmap, stuff like that. You have different picture or image files. Then you have different uh, music files. Now, usually I only have MP3s, but uh, let's go into this and see what we have here. Now, this is a backup of a small iPod Shuffle. And as you can see, these songs are called M4A. And as I remember, that's some sort of... Um, that's a, a format that Apple made back in the day. I could be wrong. That doesn't really matter. Um, so, anyways, MP3 files, as you can see. This is just a small collection. It's, uh, it's a day-to-day -day computer. It doesn't have that much. I have some music scores uh sounds as well these are some ambient sounds that we use you can see these are like downloaded from youtube we needed that for some uh spooky halloween stuff way back this is an mp3 file 
DD Ambient. So I can play that on my PC. Barely listen to it. It's like, that's a campfire, right? Right, so, all right. So that's a file, I have that on my computer. If I had bought that from iTunes, like I go back, I go into iTunes, there's iTunes Media, and there's the music. Is he Danny Goki? Is that like, or My Little Pony? Is that my kids? No, I actually love that. My pony. Yeah, My Little Pony. As you can see, these are downloaded from, these are downloaded through iTunes. And I'm gonna show you how that works. Like, right, so these are in my PC, they're in iTunes or Apple audio format, M4A, don't really know what that is. Whereas when we went back, you can see like uh, Danny Goki, Jesus People, yeah, all of his is in that format as well. Then I download these and I need to convert a program as a dancer because if I'm going to do a dance mix like 20 seconds of each song, I need to convert these for a format so I can edit them in a music editor, like connect them to a in a mashup sort of thing. And that's why I have always bought my music either on CDs or through iTunes or other, uh, yeah, what do you call it, media areas or so you can get. So we went back, now I went scores. I have all these big YouTube mixes as well. I love scores, I love soundtrack, I love a variety of different music. You can see these are MP3 files, but once again, they are on my computer. Uh, so this is not really big a problem. These were from YouTube, legality of it, I don't know. But as I said, in iTunes, if you buy this music and you do not download it, for me, for instance, if iTunes if, or if Apple some way in the future decides not to have Danny Goki on their list and you have not downloaded it, well, then you're, I'm sorry to say, you're way out of luck. I know that's a different expression, but you're out of luck because if Apple decides not to have this album, Jesus People by Danny Goki, I, I can't do anything about it. I mean, I purchased it and I had the availability to download it onto my device, onto my computer. But if they decide not to have it, and that's it. It's the same with uh, everybody loves that, that green streaming music thing the last 10 years. And that's, I think it's great, but not for me. I, I like my files. I like to have them on that laptop I showed you earlier. There's like 80, 90 uh, gigabytes of music right now. That's crazy, Daniel. You can just stream it. Yeah, I can, but I can't really stream music onto my iPod. And I love my iPods. And uh, yeah, I just it's it's the closest thing to have physical music without actually having discs. Um, so that's that's the file section of it, right? Now iTunes is just like a, a browser or whatever you would call it, right? So we can see here there's like we use lots of playlists here uh, in this house like this is bounty story it's like children's stories audio books for kids right so these would have been as you can see here these are from different albums from different artists as well or right? and sort of different genres spoken word and children's right so we put all of these into one playlist so it's easier when we're doing it on the iPod because otherwise we'd have to mix through and know what album each um, audiobook is. And that that we don't know. Uh, yeah. And, and some of them are just like, this is Frozen. I, I used to use these playlists. Like all albums I put in was in playlists before, right? Back in the day. But my wife, she started to teach me <laughs> actually how to use the artist function and album function, right? Because I used to have like Michael Buble. See, there's a Michael Buble, it's time, crazy love, to be loved, you know. And I used to have them over here, each of them down here. And now I just do like this. Because, you know, if I want to listen to Michael Buble, I want to listen to Michael Buble or Justin Timberlake. But this is my wife's iPod, so there's no Justin Timberlake or, you know, there's no R&B music on this one. 
like there is a mine. She does have some jazz, you know, classical music. She loves classical music. You see, there's just classical music, classical albums, and there's like a bunch of it, right? Uh, she had these on CDs and we ripped those in or I want to, yeah, we call it rip, but you know, like you put a CD in your PC, iTunes pops up, asks if it should pop that music right into the music library. So the physical files ends here and then you have access to them here in iTunes. And when you have access to them in iTunes, like we have now, because this was her iPod with the classical music. So this classical music is not physically on this computer, right? There's no classical music inside my iTunes library. Just on her iPod. These are the songs that we have. Like, I know this is all in Danish, but just bear with me. And this video could have been a lot shorter. But I just want to give it because I see a lot of people asking us on the Facebook forums how this works. So... Now you're just going to get like a real in-depth of how this actually works. Because I said from the beginning, apparently somewhere within the last 10 years, people forgot what physical media files is. Because let's be honest, a physical file would be like a disc, right? I mean, I have, I have CDs and, blue, uh, and DVDs here that I can burn to. And we have a bunch upstairs. Anyways, so how do we put music onto this? Well, you plug it in. It connects up. If it's the first time, you would get like some sort of screen saying welcome. You give it a name and then you can ask this. I always have, I administer my music manual or manual transfer. I don't know what it says in English. Um, I used to have this one, convert the song. So you would downgrade the sound ability because I, I personally, I know some of you guys, you can hear the difference. I, I can't and that's okay. Um... That's just okay. Um, but I, I quit. I used to have this one on so you could have more songs because they they will take up less space on the iPod. But um, I during 2021, I actually started having a lot of songs. Uh, I couldn't get on uh, the iPod. Uh, they just they, they would transfer onto the iPod like some of the Danny Goki songs, right? Um, let's go back. Uh, some of the Danny Goki songs here. Uh, like, I think it's this one and this one from this album. So they would transfer on to an iPod and I would be able to see it on the iPod. But when the iPod tried to play it, it just jumped right through them. Like there's some sort of error. I have no idea what that is. But uh, removing that uh, conversion... Uh, I sort of stopped some of that. Hey, thanks for hustle. Um, anyway, so now let's try to transfer something. All right, so um, what we can do is uh, we could. Uh, yep. Let's just go back. See what she probably doesn't have on her iPod is she probably does not have Star Wars music from season seven, right? And I don't know if... Let's just check. Check all songs. And we're just going to search. See, this is a, this is the songs that are loaded into this browser, as we would call it. I would call it. Star Wars. Okay, what do I have? There is actually... Look, I already had it here, so I probably transferred it to some iPod somewhere past in the future. And I have like the Fourth Awakens album. Let's see. Has this been transferred? As you can see, nope, this album is not on this PC. None of the songs are on this PC. And that's okay. Okay, let's just do another search again. Star. Okay, I need to have a distance. Blah, 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 blah. Star Wars. Okay, so there we go. It's here, unknown album, unknown, you know, all that. Because, you know, this was like a YouTube or something. So we put that on Camilla's iPod. Uh, now, this one doesn't really have any artists or anything. So I would go over here. I would press her iPod. I just press music. And then I'll go up, add a playlist. All right. See, 
playlist right there. Let's do a Star Wars. All right. So there should be a Star Wars right there. Great. And I went back. Here's what I searched for. There it is. Her music is here. I'm going to drag this into here. All right. And now it's copying. All right. So that's one Star Wars song on her iPod. Then I have another Star Wars there. Star Wars Ambient by Synaptic. Now, this one hasn't been inside iTunes yet, or otherwise it would pop up. So I'm, I'm taking this sort of physical file, and as you can see, I can still drop it, drop it, drop it into iTunes. What do you do with iPod? All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up to 10 more iPod. All right, so now on my wife's iPod, she has two Star Wars mixes. You can see, like, they're an hour each, so there's... Mm-hmm. You did more hype up there. All right, so that was, that, that was it. All right, now we can do <laughs> something so different. Yeah. All right, so this is a store, how you get music from yeah. iTunes. That's the load in, bada bomb, music awards, blah, 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 <laughs> fighting demons, Adele, I have no idea. Now I've got to find some music that my wife might like. There's something with Alicia Keys, Plentiful, something, I don't know. Wonder what she would like. Ooh, let's do a oh my call Boot Blaze Search. He's probably made like four new albums since we last bought one, right? We're gonna check for albums. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, where is this newest album? There's like a Christmas again, Call Me Responsible, Christmas, Crazy Love, To Be Loved, Time, Buble, we got that, Square Garden, we got that, Come Fly With Me, pretty sure we got that one. We really, really like our Michael Buble here. Um, yeah, let's uh, nobody but me sounds like a new one that we doesn't that we don't have. Yeah, see, we ain't got this one. We don't. So, all right, I guess this is with the uh, music. So, if you have the streaming service, you can start. But I don't know do that. So we go here. You purchase buy. I have to enter my password. You can't see that anyway. Should be okay. Boom. Purchasing nobody but me. Now it's bought, right? So now we go back to the library here and then last add it. Now we're gonna go up. You can see he's here, and you can see it's downloading, right? It's trying to go down to my PC. Boom, boom. Now, I'm just going to grab this album. You can see he's here. If you take music, like, like in here, right, like The Hobbit, and you add it here, and you just throw it up here, then you just add it to the... Um, Yeah, you, you add it to this collection. Now, it doesn't really do anything with this. And I guess it's it probably has the... Uh, I can search for it now. See, Hobbit, unknown album. So it's down here somewhere. Look, it's not the same unknown album here. Way, some, some way down in my list. Um, but usually when you rip a CD, they all, they just, they come up here, the latest one you add it. Anyway, so I take this album, and it could just be a song, right? I mean, I could take just a song if I wanted to. I'm not going to play anything, I don't want to have a copyright issues. 
So this one, and then drag it over. I'm just going to take the entire album, and I'm going to find Michael Buble, and he's there. All right. And now you can see it's going to transfer. And that was it. Now we're going to be able to pop up out the iPod, iPod. There you go. She's live. Playlists, you see, it go down and go down and go down. There's Michael Bublé. And way down in the bottom, God only knows, that was the last song of the new album. Nobody but me, right? And at the same time, we have the playlist. We go all the way down. There's a Star Wars that we made, right? With the two Star Wars songs. She's going to be not so happy about that. All right. Now that I have you guys here, I'm going to pluck her back in. I'm going to show you something. Now, it's just been Christmas. See if it's going to pop up. And that means that we have all of our Christmas songs in this house. All of them. Right. Did You just saw that was the like a USB thingy popping up. Just gonna see and make her see if she connects with iTunes. Sometimes it's fiddly, sometimes it's not. Sometimes you close iTunes. Make sure the iPod opens iTunes. Mm -hmm. And nothing happens. And it seems like iTunes froze. Happens iTunes. Gotta be honest, this PZ is like incredibly old and worn and everything. So, sometimes for me that's why it doesn't work. A lot of times that's why it doesn't work for me. Old PZ. Yeah, sometimes I have to connect and disconnect and connect and disconnect my... <sighs> I'm just going to try and connect again. All right, there we have the iPod thingy. Or is not iPod thingy, the USB. Or the, the PC recognizes this iPod as a drive, as, as some sort of drive. The next step is that all the software needs to be okay, and we need to have iTunes recognize the iPod. That is sometimes the little more hard part. So, yeah. Doesn't always work. Or maybe my iTunes crashed completely, and... Uh, Seems like it did. Yeah. All right. Something maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she go. I'm just gonna lift my kid up. She wants to be here. I've been talking for 20 minutes. Makes sense, right? Anyways, so it's just been Christmas, and Yule is Christmas in Danish, and I have to do this. So you can see there's like 520 songs, right? That we play, you know, like there's Celine Dion, Christina Aguilera, Michael Bublé, and a whole lot of uh, Trans Siberian Orchestra, Pentatonix, Bing Cosby, Mixed, Frank Sinatra, all of the old guys, you know, and a lot of uh, Danish uh, Christmas hymns, stuff like that. Anyways, so what we do is that we mark these, and I'm just gonna do Control A for uh, all, right? All of them are marked now. So I uh, right left left click and I do the show info. Yeah, and, and I do want to edit all of them. And then you choose options or something. I don't know. It's the second one, right? And yeah, well, like, then you mark this one. You can see before it was like a line. And that's because I had done this with some of the songs inside the iPod, but not all of them because I had added new music. 
So if this one is on and you just go mix on the iPod, you will have your Christmas songs mixed in, even though it's summer and you don't want to have the Christmas song unless it's December, right? So every November I go in and I remove this one, except apparently I forgot this year on my wife's iPod, though I did do it on my kit, uh, the, not the one I'm having right here in my lap, but the other one, she's uh, two years older. Anyway, so now I, 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 I put my wing here, of course you guys couldn't see it before, there was a line before, and this is how it usually is during the December, and then here in January I do like this, and press OK, and usually it has to yeah, work through all the songs. What it means is that when when you choose on the iPod, when you just choose mix song from the main menu, it will skip all of the Christmas songs. At the same time, it means that if you have uh, mix, uh, if you go into settings on the iPod, right? I'm gonna dump her out. There you go. Clean, and she's. So when you just do like mixing songs here or play songs, you will never get the Christmas song from what I did. At the same time, it means that if you go and I know this is in Danish, but anyway, if you have a mix, you can see this is about main menu mix repeat. If you have mix off, you have no problem. But if you put mix on songs, <laughs> And you go into the Christmas album now, it will only play one song at a time. Um, so you have to have it off, and then you go into Christmas album, play, and then you go, while it's playing, you can go back in here to settings and add on mix, and then it will shuffle the songs in that playlist. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but that's it's also a cool feature. Anyways, that's how you put music on the songs. Very long video, and uh, yeah. I've been thinking about this video, doing this for a few months, actually. And this is just a crappy version of it. But I really hope this helps you guys. As you say, you're novices. Apparently, you completely forgot what uh, media files are and stuff like that, how it works. But uh, I hope this will help you guys in the world of iPods, which we love. Right, Salome? <laughs> iPod.